The battle of wills between correctional officers and inmates, we're always gonna win. And if they wanna mess with me, I can make their life just as hard as they wanna make mine. I'm not gonna wanna go to go after this I'm gonna shake these guys down. Joshua Gurioste is just a punk. He's a crybaby. Joshua started whining about different things and myself and my other fellow officers decided, hey, we should probably shake this pod down. A bunch of crybabies. Look at this one. Stinger. Oh, nice. Now these guys make these little things we call stingers. They stick these these two things in the electrical socket to warm up their water and stuff like that, or make coffee. Well, that's how you can start fires. Hefty write ups. Any fishing line yet or not? Bet you it's in his box somewhere. It's gotta be in here somewhere, bro. Oh, there, there it is. There you go, buddy. Fishing line, there it is. Buddy. See, that just justifies you know, the friction that I've been having with this guy. This is Christmas in here. Check that out. Come on. Hey, the world's a safer place now that a guy can't have hot coffee. <laughs> we are taking Joshua to the unit manager's office for disciplinary meeting based off of what we just discovered in his cell. I'm sure he was pretty surprised that we were going straight to the unit manager's office rather than back into his pod. Do you have any idea why you're in here right now? Because I wanted to go direct this morning. It's pretty much the only thing I can think about. No. Well, why are you wearing wreck today? Had my guys go through your cell, just like everybody else. They came out with an, a razor blade, they came out with a stinger, and they came out with a fishing line. All right. So that's pretty much how it works. You go out and go to wreck around here, and you're going to get your yes, house you tossed sub up. Yes. You are subject to no, you, we're, no, we're being punished because we went to wreck. You guys can no, say no, what you want. Me. Puerto didn't want to let me go to wreck. At any time, they're subject to going to your house as much as they want. So you're going to get the misconduct report, and you're going to face regression, so you'll start 6-1 all over again as expected today. A whole new, a whole nother Don't week. Stand. Don't stand unless we tell you you're done. Oh, all right. Well, Kick me some more. Hey, so every time that this talk. happens, uh, you're the one, you got a big old attitude taking me out to wreck. I don't know. You still went. Kick me out. I'm not going to do nothing. Dude, you don't have to be hey. pushing on me, right? Hey. I'm pushing on hey. you. Quit pushing me, bro. Hey. I'm not going to hey. do nothing, hey. right? Quit pushing. Hey. I'm not Stop talking turning. to you. Stop turning around. You got a big old attitude taking me out to wreck. I don't know. You still went. I had the same attitude taking you to wreck as I did with everybody else. All I get is one hour I take everybody every to, to wreck the same. He's trying to turn the focus on to me, when in reality, he was not in there due to anything else other than the items that we found in his cell. He just played the little turn the tables game and it's not going to work out. You're the reason that you're here in the first place. Step one of this program is 30 days. In order to go to step two, you have to show us as a committee that you're ready to go to step two. So this is what you got I'm your dog, kick me. I don't care. That's how you guys are treating me. Look at this guy over here not handling me. claiming that, you know, I have some sort of hard on for him, but I think it's quite the opposite. I think that he has some sort of fixation with me. Give me your sauce. Just be quiet and do your strip search. So we can get you back to your house. Oh, well, you put yourself in this position, not us. You know what's funny about that? You guys keep saying that, but you don't know what the about him. If you say That's all right. I just want to come in here and round me up. They can come whenever they want and shake down my house. And I'm cool with that. I know that's their job. But when you're doing it just to single me out and with me, that's when it bothers me. They're going to take me seriously? I look like I'm 12 years old. My biggest fear is not going home to my wife. Sooner or later, you're going to have to go face your fear. Put the weapon down! That's what we do every day.